Shalom, shalom, all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone out of New York who rule well. All right, um, salutations to the hopeful elect. You know the elect out there spreading this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters that do listen to us as well. Um, this is basically a continuation of um, proof that black people, the response to proof that black people, so called black people, the Israelites, are being um, abandoned in Houston. Basically, it's a continuation. I left off and I had made a statement saying we are in those times where the highest have begin to visit the earth. All right. Basically, a rundown. Hey, we run it down. The white man, the most high is giving you over to your lovers because you've been praying and crying to sweet Jesus. All right. For hundreds of years. That ain't working. OK. Hey, Ezekiel, we read it in the first um, video, Ezekiel, the 16th chapter. The most high giving you over to your lovers, man. To your hordes. Hey, we read in Ezekiel the 35th chapter, in like the fifth verse. The white man, the so Esau, Edom, the devil, the Bible speaks of, he has a perpetual hatred towards you, Negroes, man. He hates you, man. Why would he deliver you? We read in Isaiah, every man fleeing to his own land and to his own people. He was supposed to deliver white people. The Most High never created equality, okay? We are supposed to be over them, man, but I left off <laughs> that I, Salakia. I left off with a statement that I made, and the statement that I made was this. This is a scripture for it in Apocrypha, 2 Ezra 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest the part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the earth which he made. And that's what's happening. And we measuring the times and we seeing this. We seeing the landslides. We seeing the earthquakes, the, the, the harp system ones, the man-made ones. We seeing the natural disasters. All this is being orchestrated by Yahweh Bashem and Yahweh Shai, all right? We seeing martial law coming. We seeing the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast according to the book of Revelations. We seeing all the nations being gathered in the valley of Jehoshaphat. According to, I think it's Joel, the second chapter or the third chapter. Right, it's in the prophets. You know, we see in all these prophecies, we see ICBM missiles being made to be shot on this part of the earth, pursuing the second Ezra uh, 16 chapter and a host of other scriptures. All right, these things will be dissolved with nuclear fire. We measure the time diligent. We actually see in the prophecies coming to pass right before our eyes, and you Negroes in a black community still talking about black consciousness, man. Black consciousness, the Ma'at, the Bagab, Gita, Islam, Taoism, Confucianism, Shintoism, Shamanism, or whatever. Hell-ism you niggas into at this day and time ain't saved you. You did everything but called on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, and he's destroying you and he's giving you over to those things, man. The highest is visiting the earth right now. That's what's happening. All right, we supposed to have a ruling class mentality. I let off, left off with that too. We are the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, not the Africans. If the Africans are your people, where the hell are they at? Where the hell are Africans at? Okay, whatever. The so-called white man had you in slavery. You should, you should expect, and still got you in slavery. You should expect the white man not to help you. But if the Africans are your people, or you so pan-African, all African or whatnot, where the hell is the Africans, motherfuckers? All right, this is Deuteronomy. Okay, thirty-two. And uh, verse three, it says. Because I will publish the name of the Lord, which is Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shah, ascribe ye greatness unto our power. He is the rock, his word is perfect, for all his ways are judgment, a God or a power of truth, and without inequity, just as right as he. They have corrupted themselves. Their spot is not the spot of his children. They are a perverse and crooked generation. And that's why the Most High visited in these places. And this is why he's going to visit it with martial law, FEMA camps, you know, and so forth and so on. Matter of fact, I'm going to go back because he is our power. We are the ones that, he is the one, Salaki, forgive me. We are the ones that are supposed to lean unto him. We ain't supposed to lean to the so-called white man for no help. We ain't supposed to lean the female to no help. You niggas have did everything but call upon Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right, in sincerity and truth and humility. You tried everything else but the Lord, okay? And this is Isaiah 30 and 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, destruction. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel but not of me, 
that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin unto sin, because that's what you're doing. The Most High is jacking you up for your sin. So what you do, you create, you commit another one by 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 calling to to to, to gather some community that's not of Yasharala. That's calling to the white man. So that soldier was in his right mind when he said, "Oh, hey, call on Jesus." Exactly, because he know that's a make-believe bullshit, man. That's Cesare Bogier, the son of Rodrigo Bogier, man. The Most High supposed to, we supposed to rule over these people, man, in the kingdom of heaven. And that's what we is aspiring to do, okay? But this is the judgment that the Most High has issued to you rebellious niggas. This is Proverbs 1 and verse um, 22. It says, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity and scorn is delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge? Turn in my reproof. Behold, I will make, I will pour out my spirit unto you, and I will make my words known unto you. And that's what he's doing through the tutelage of the elders and the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh the tutelage of the elders and the rest of the brothers, and the apostles and the rest of the brothers, all right? Verse 24. Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but ye have said it not. All my counsel and with none of my reproofs, I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as a desolation. And your destruction cometh as a whirlwind when distress and anguish cometh upon you. So when these tribulations cometh upon you, hey, it's coming from the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, because you didn't listen to his men and the preachers and the elders and the prophets. Not that faggot. Not Joe Olstein, man. Not Joe Olstein, man. And these other devils. Your covering is supposed to be of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. He's promised us the kingdom. All right, not no damn place ooking and booking in Africa. He, he promised us everything, man. These things were created for our pleasure. The Lord is a separatist. The Lord is a racist. The Lord is for his people. Yasha Allah, the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, and everybody else, according to a host of, a plethora of scriptures, are under us, are beneath us, and we are being punished because we wanted to make ourselves at peace or equal and in, in, in to some harmony with them, man. That's out of balance. That's out of whack, man. You fucking niggas. You need cause you fucking niggas right now. Until you come into the truth and the knowledge and the law statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. There's no answers in the Quran. There's no answers in black consciousness. There's no answers in Christianity. The answer is right here in this holy scriptures. Past, future, and present, man. And you being sent in these things that spoke about in this book that you niggas in a black conscious community call a fairy tale is being played out right before your eyes and you have no answers man the answers are here abandoned us they abandoned us they, they raped robbed and murdered us they bought us over here on slave shit what the hell you video make a video talking about they abandoned us when was they with us nigga with that being said man repent and come back to the law statutes of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah man the true name of the Heavenly Father and the Son, the, the power that's only for Israel, the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. We are one people. We ain't black. That's the people that's one. Not these other heathens. All praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the elders who rule well and apostles of all Israel, the elders of great millstones. Salutation to the hopeful elect. Shalom.